How you doing? Easton Janor with Bedrock Truck Bed. So we've got our quad series bed here, okay? Um, this is set up for your retailer customer who doesn't want to stock a bunch of beds or order a truckload at a time. No stock room uh, requirements. You can order these beds one at a time. And as you see, load right up in a box truck and you can see it palletized here, okay? So it breaks down into a nice pallet, load right up onto a box truck. If you're in the United States and you work with Meyer Distributing, you can order it right from Meyer Distributing. So this comes in two styles our skirted granite series, which you see here. Okay, this is gonna be a seven foot bed, so it's just got one toolbox in the back. Um, if you go up with the eight, nine, or 11 foot body, you can have four toolboxes around the skirting, okay? Walk around this side is our show bed. This is the second style you can get in the quad series. It's gonna be our diamond non-skirted series, okay? You can get those two options in the quad series. Like we show up kind of how it assembles, but. Yeah, so it's a bolt together concept, as you see it's palletized there, so. Um, gonna come in just like that. I don't know if you can get it close in down the side here. Maybe a little hard to see. We've got bolt holes all the way down here. We're gonna put grade eight bolts right into it. And then the finished product is gonna be that come together. A little seam there that's gonna set flush, okay? So basically the whole concept aside from having an awesome truck bed is you eliminate needing to like, you can stack three of these yeah, on one semi absolutely. and now your freight's super expensive. It's gonna come standard with our 30,000 pound welded gooseneck ball from B&W. Okay, we're only one of two flatbed companies um, on the market that offers a B&W brand uh, gooseneck. 18,000 pound standard rear receiver hitch there. Um, all LED lights, plug and play wire and harnesses, really everything you need for a quick install. Uh, all our beds are powder coated. Our powder coat process is really good. It's ran through a shot blast machine. So it's shot blasted to raw white steel. That shot blast then is gonna create small indentions in the bed, which really allows powder coat to adhere properly to it. Nice. So that's a big feature if you're somewhere where you got any you know, rust concerns, that powder coat and prep process is gonna be a big deal in helping out with that rust. Now where's the common place you'd be able to order one of these? So for the quad series, uh, the most readily available and on hand is gonna be from Meyer Distributing. Okay. Uh, or you can get set up directly as your own quad dealer. So if you are in the business and you want to just work directly with us and get set up, you can you know get order quad directly from us. We're in Shiner, Texas. So however you wanna get it shipped to you. How's it going, man? My name is Will Agnew uh, with Road Active Suspension, RAS Suspension. And uh, this is our product. This is our heavy duty version. And it basically installs on a fully arched leaf spring. So you get your truck in the air, you let the axle hang free, or the jack and some jack stands, or if you have access to a lift, that's great as well. And this comes fully assembled in the box. You take it right out of the box, one hook on the back eye, one bolt on the front, hold one side with one wrench, you turn the other side with the other wrench. That's the whole installation. Take you maybe 30, 45 minutes on some jack stands, maybe 20 minutes with a lift. What's happening is the threaded rod's being drawn down into the coil spring here, and the spring would start to open up if I was strong enough to do that by hand. Once you get there, lock the lock nuts in place. That's the whole installation. Put the wheels back on the ground, leaf spring comes back up. That gap you set is forced to open. All it wants to do, it's a glorified slinky you played with when you're a kid. You stretch it, it wants to come back together. Gotcha. So it's trying to pull itself closed again which forces the wheel down, so it's giving you traction 24-7, with or without a load. When you normally a pickup truck, you go over a bad patch of road, your wheels go boom, boom, until they catch the ground. With our product, you just roll over a bad patch of road. You roll in and out of potholes. It takes all the extra bounce away. The second thing it does for you 24-7, it eliminates the side-to-side -side body roll. Normally, you're in a pickup truck, semi flies past you, you get that leaning sensation. Or if you have to take a sharp maneuver or just a sharp corner, you lean the opposite way that you turn right. from your leaf spring flattening out. With this on there, it feels like a sports car. It doesn't allow your leaf spring to flatten out. Gotcha. And then the more weight you add, the third thing it does, that opens up more. It progressively wants to pull itself out together, so it eliminates some side. So as opposed to airbags, Yep. What would be the, the, the difference or the, the selling feature over airbags? Is it that you constantly have that tension? You're, you're basically, the, it's maintenance free would be my main thing about it. Okay. So you're not either chasing air or, or, or uh, paying thousands of dollars for a fancy button to press. Right. That, that's my main thing. N nothing to go wrong. No rock is going to jump in here and knock this off of your truck. Second thing is it, it, it does not harden your rod. Airbags are a great product. They'll hold you level when they need to. But when you're not towing, you hit a bump, you feel it, because you have to keep a certain amount of PSI in them right. at all times. Our products set it, forget it, and it's always letting the least spring thin and flex at all times. So nice. ride quality to me is going to be my main 
factor over them and then maintenance free. Well, appreciate it. You guys remember Nick's truck from channel. So Nick is in their booth. This is actually what the truck was built for. It was for SEMA and rocking the setup. I think this is his second truck, right, that he's had this setup on? Yes. Yeah. So Nick tows a big old fifth wheel with it. He is a big believer in it, loves yep. it, always promotes it. So yep. he glad, loves to, glad to finally meet you guys and, and check it out in person. Awesome, man. Thanks for stepping up. <laughs> All right, guys, we've made it over to the Gen Y booth. You guys know I'm running these on pretty much every single vehicle that I have, especially the Denali, which is what we towed the Bronco out here with. These hitches are not only the best, most stout hitches, but they've got a lot of cool little features about them that uh, I don't know if they're showcased enough so let's get a little walk through here yeah absolutely so this is our most popular hitch this is a mega duty hitch and the nice thing about this is it's really the only hitch you'll ever need because you have the ability to tow a pinnel trailer with it so your Lynette ring sits over the ball mount you pull your pinnel lock in place and you're ready to tow you can also tow um, different trailer sizes so we have the 2 and 5 16 inch ball a 2 inch ball and then you can also use this hole if you have like a forage or a hay wagon you can put the pin in through there and tow that as well we also have um, our most notable thing that's known about Gen Y is our torsion flex technology so that's built into this product right here as well as this one this is the boss this is the glider and that acts as a suspension system to remove up to 90 percent of the inertia between your truck and trailer when you're towing so you're not experiencing as much of that uncomfortable chucking when you're driving down the road if you hit a pothole or a bump in the road it absorbs that movement protects your truck protects your trailer and your cargo um, we offer multiple drop sizes multiple shank sizes these are also offered with that panel lock so it really suits all your towing needs when you're towing on the road. What's the biggest drop hitch you've made? The biggest one we've made, I believe, is a 22 and a half inch drop, which Jeez. is like ginormous. <laughs> it's crazy big. This is our newest product. This is the Goose Puck. We actually won um, Best Product of the Year award at NATDA this year. So this is an OEM offset puck system. So this fits directly into the puck system into the bed of your truck, and it offers a five inch offset. So you can connect either, you know, if you have a fifth wheel goose to puck, or if you have a gooseneck that you need a big, a bit of a bigger offset, you simply install this, put the pins in place, and it offsets in five inches. And it's the first one that actually fits with the OEM puck system in the bed of your truck. Nice. So make sure you guys go check out Gen Y. Like I said, I've been towing with them for years. We have them on all of our vehicles, and we're going to be getting one from Papa Rhino's F450 because, you know, we got to put that thing to work. We don't just build show trucks. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Where can we check you out? Well, you can check us out at www.genyhitch.com, also on Instagram at genyhitch.